as you can see, this ah, is Chris. Isn't that great? Yeah. This the is first step. There you go. I'm sitting here in San Marcos, Texas, with Chris Hewer, founder of the Social Media Club. And Chris is in from San Francisco. Had a chance to sit down and visit with him. So, Chris, let me ask you. Last couple of weeks, uh, we've seen some interesting uh, changes oh, in some legislation. We're going to possibly see some changes in our economy. Being kind of what you do, what you've seen, where, what do you think or what's your advice for marketers of all kinds to think about embracing social media over the next three months, six months, year as we sort of go through some economic changes and adjustments? Well, I actually moved to Silicon Valley in late 2000, so I saw the first, well, the last big downturn, I guess. And, you know, what happened was that all the marketing budgets were cut. So, in fact, when my friend sold ads, and he couldn't find a job for four years because he wouldn't find a new profession. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely some cuts coming in terms of advertising spending, but one of the things we've been talking about for the last several years with regards to social media is to understand that it's not just about, you know, being social and the social networks and that other stuff, but it's about these devices like you have in your hand right now. You can very inexpensively produce media and distribute it for relatively no cost. Actually, for, for really, relatively Yeah, for free, cost, exactly. For free. Yeah. And not only that, in multiple places and forever. And so social media is also this idea about being able to produce content that lives on with the shelf life that helps lead to better search results so that people can find you better. And what I see as one of the biggest opportunities with social media that we've really been talking about is for companies to shift their advertising budgets into producing media instead of renting a slice of people's attention on other people's media. So the right. opportunity right now is to actually take that $5 million ad budget you were going to spend in the first quarter, reduce that down to $2 million, take a million of it and put it into actually producing media and getting it done in a, in a you know, high production value if you want, or you can actually go for a lower production value and get more of it done for less. But the opportunity there is to actually create that content yourself. Create an episodic or create you know, some original how-to content. You know, entertainment, education, how-to stuff. As long as it's connected with your real brand value, like Will It Blend. Like Will It Blend is one of the most phenomenal examples yeah. of it. They actually are the holy grail, I think, so far. For 10 years, I was talking about this opportunity to use the web for distributing video, and they are the first group that I've seen that's actually got a profitable marketing department. Imagine that. If you didn't actually lose money out the door on marketing, but you actually made it as a line of revenue on your business. This is possible. It takes creativity. It's not easy. It's going to be a lot of work. You're going to have to accept some failure along the way. Some, you know, how many shows flop each season, right? Right. That's a major network. So you're going to see some of that. But if you invest the time and effort to actually produce media with those budgets, instead of renting a slice of people's attention that disappears as soon as that show is over, mm -hmm. you're going to be much better off as a marketer. Okay. And and what about um, uh, you know? This is not just limited. You know, my world traditionally has been the technology companies. Give examples, or maybe how can how do companies like where where should they take their first step into this? They'll say, okay, I, I like what you're saying. How, what are you know, what are some of the things they should be thinking about? Hmm. Okay, how do we so do there's this? Two questions. The, fir the first one is, of course, to find out the people inside your company who already know this. It's such an obvious first step, and it's so many times lit missed because there are people inside your company right now who probably are on Facebook who probably have created videos for YouTube, who have been involved in some kind of audio or podcasting or blogging or something. Go learn what they're doing. Find out the communities they're engaged in so you can actually find ways to actually reach your intended audience. Chances are they're already talking to them on a personal level. You know, the other thing you have to look at is actually finding some way to get more knowledge because knowledge is truly power in this economy. That's one of the reasons why we formed Social Media Club is to help share that knowledge across our network around the world. And so go check out and see if you have a local social media club chapter, attend those events, and meet some of the people who are doing it, and start talking to them. Talk to them about what your challenges are. Talk to them about what you're looking to do. And chances are, they're probably just going to tell you over a beer like this. Yeah. Some pretty good ideas that won't cost you anything. Okay. And start, how, I'm sorry. No, no, I was just going to say, and start from there, and then take it into the next step of finding people who are confident in it, people who have done it before. Don't go to somebody who's got a big IBM-like reputation and, you know, you never get fired for buying IBM sort of mentality. 
You know, the people who know this stuff are people who have their own independent blogs. They're typically smaller in size. I don't know of any big, big agency that really gets social media well. Okay, and how do people find you? Um, well, socialmediaclub.org is our main site, of course. I'm also chrishewer.com. Spell it. It's C-H-R-I-S-H-E-U-E-R. -E and then I'm also Chris Hewer on Twitter. And that's the main place you'll find me these days. Okay, super. Thanks for your time. Well, thank you very and much. See you on the next. Bye-bye.